Solana is a fast paced blockchain and because of the high volume of transactions, calculating priority fees is not easy or not as straightforward as it looks like. So that's what we will see in this video. We will see that how we can calculate the priority fees more accurately and then increase the chances of our transaction being successful. So without any ado, let's jump into it. So Solana does have a native RPC method called recent prioritization fees, which gets you the current priority fees, but this is across the network and the priority fees can change based on the programs you are interacting with. For example, if a program is going very hot right now or is very trending right now, a lot of people are sending transactions to it right now. The priority fees for transactions to that program can increase. So to solve this, Quicknode has just launched a priority fee API for Solana, which takes in the number of blocks or the latest number of blocks. For example, you can mention 100 latest blocks, 200 latest block, 50. And you can also mention a program account you want to calculate the priority fees for. For example, let's say that you want to calculate priority fees for sending a transaction to a Jupyter program for latest 50 blocks you would be able to do that using Footnotes Priority Fee API. And now let's see that how we can actually use this API. So to use this API, first you'll have to log into Quicknode account, then go to your Solana mainnet endpoint because the API is right now available on Solana mainnet only. Then go to the add-ons section, scroll down, find the Solana Priority Fee API, click on explore. Look at the plan, which is most suitable for you because each plan has different types of rate limits. So for now, for the demo, I'm just selecting the base plan, then click on install. And once it's installed, you will find the add-on in the installed add-ons section. And you don't have to do anything because this is a PC add-on. So you just have to send the custom request to your quick node endpoint, which has this add-on enabled. So let's start and send our transaction. Now, generally what you would do is first you would import the necessary library modules, then import your secret key, which is stored in another file, then make a connection to the Solana network, key pairs to send and receive transaction or send and receive our key pairs. For over here, we are generating a key pair from our secret. And over here, we are generating a new key pair to send the sol to. And then over here, we are declaring few global constants where over here we are declaring a constant for priority rate and then send amount is 0 0.01 sol. And over here in priority fee instruction, we are using compute budget program dot set compute unit price function of Solana web 3 js And we are passing priority fee as the value. So we are basically stating that what's the compute unit price per compute unit we are willing to pay for this transaction. And over here, it's this priority rate. And then we are generating a transaction example where we are using the transfer function, which will transfer the funds from, from public key to, to public key. And then the amount will come from send amount, which is this variable. And then we are creating and sending the transaction where this is the base transaction. And then this is the priority transaction where we are adding the priority fee instruction. And then we are making sure that the transaction goes to a node, which is on top of the chain or at the latest block. Then we are getting the latest block, latest block hash, and then validating those. And then we are generating transaction promise over here and then we are finally sending the transaction and then we are getting those transactions and logging them over here. We are getting the base transaction. We are getting the priority transaction and there are fees as well. And then we are calling the create and send transaction function. So now let's run this. And this is on DevNet, by the way, the priority fee API is only available on mainnet. We will see how we can also use priority fee API to get the priority fee dynamically over here we are setting it manually by setting the fee rate and what we will see with the priority fee api is how we can set this priority fee instruction dynamically for that particular transaction 
So to run this, let's call this file. Okay, as you can see that uh, both of our transactions are successful. But this was just a solve transfer transactions, so it wasn't anything complex. So we saw how we first uh, installed the priority fee add-on and now we will be showing how we can use that. So over here, what we are doing is first uh, declaring few interfaces, which are over here. This interface is to handle the request payload because the priority fee API takes two parameters. One is the number of blocks and the second is the account for which you want to check the priority fee. And these are the types of priority fees written for extreme, high, low, and medium and you can also add a specific percentile so depending on your priority that if the priority of transaction is extreme you would use this if the priority of transaction is medium you would use this and you can also define a custom percentile and the priority fee api returns these values per compute unit and per transaction as you can see in the documentation as well so after that, we will create an interface for the priority fee parameters. This will be the number of blocks to consider for the fee estimation. This is the account. And then this will be your quick node endpoint. So that's what we are doing over here. In the estimate priority fee function, we are again using these three variables. And then we are getting the parameters from another constant called estimate priority fees parameter, which can be defined something like this. The first value would be the number of blocks, then a account address, which can be any account address you want to estimate the priority fee for. And then the endpoint, this will be your quick note endpoint with your priority fee add-on. And then we are checking if the parameters are defined or not. If they are defined, then send the request with parameters. If they are not, just send it without the parameters because both of those parameters are optional. And then we are creating the request payload with parameters and defining it as a JSON RPC request. Then we are sending a post request to our quick node endpoint. Then we are stringifying the result which we get from the endpoint. And if there is an error, we are logging down an error. If not, we are returning the data. And over here, this is the function using which we can get the dynamic priority fee instructions. So what we are doing is we are getting the results from fetch priority fees function and we are waiting for that because that's an async function. And then we are getting the per compute unit fee of high priority from the result and saving it in priority fee variable. In the priority fee instruction, what we are doing is we are setting the priority fee as the budget for per compute unit price for our transaction. And then we are returning the priority fee instruction. So in our previous example of code, what we will have to do is we will have to just add all of this code. We won't need these because these are constants and we are getting that dynamically now. And then we will have to change create and send transactions function to use the dynamic fee instruction instead of using the constant one. So this is how we can do it. We are sending the base transaction as we sent in the previous example. But in the case of priority transaction, what we are doing is we are awaiting for create dynamic priority fee instruction to send a result. And then we are adding priority fee instruction from this function as the dynamic priority fee. And not just that, you can make all of this much more simpler by just using quick note SDK. So you will just have to install quick note SDK by doing npm i quick node SDK and it also install Solana web 3 js import that as well. And then replace this with your secret key, add your receiver address over here, 
add your quick node endpoint URL over here, then create a new transaction instance. Then in the transaction body, add the sender address, receiver address, lamp ports, or the lamp ports in terms of salt, how much you want to send. And then in the signature, you send a smart transaction, which is a transaction with the priority fee API. So then you get the transaction body, keep aware from the sender, priority fee level, high, extreme, medium, whatever you want to set, low as well. And then logging the signature and catching error if any. So let's try this example to do that. PS node QN. So this is how you can send a transaction without writing a lot of code by simply using Node SDK and Qt node priority fee API. So let's take a look at the signature. And by the way, this is a mainnet transaction. So let's go to salt scan. As you can see, the transaction was successful and sent with priority fee. So with a combination of quick node SDK and quick node priority fee API, you can quickly send a transaction with dynamic priority fee with less code. But you can also use quick node priority fee API with your general code bases as well. You just have to get the priority fee and send it as an added instruction with your transaction. I hope you learned something from this video and all the best with landing successful transactions on the Solana network. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.